We live in such a time of deception, so much uh, confusion, lying, deceiving, a uh, situation where in the world today, people don't know what to believe. They don't know what is true. They don't know what is fake. And people are doubting everything now. I mean, even things that are so true that have happened in history, in, in reality, are being denied. Of course, we've always heard that people deny that there was ever a Holocaust. And that comes from people that want to say it didn't happen, that, you know, six million Jews weren't really killed in Europe uh, by the Nazis, by the fascists. Why do they want to say that? Why do they want to say that that never really happened and that it was all just a make-believe, made-up story? Because they don't like that story. They don't like the narrative. They're, they're anti-Semite. They, they're, they don't they believe that the Jews are evil and, and the Jews are behind everything evil. And, and so they, they defend uh, anyone that is a fascist or Nazi and says that, that these things didn't happen. And that's happening now more and more and more in the world we live in. People are denying that things happen because they don't like that narrative. And this is coming from Donald Trump himself. He's the master at doing this. Whatever, whatever he wants to deny in, in, that is a reality, he will just keep saying over and over and over again, that didn't happen, that didn't happen, that didn't happen. And anything that he wants to say did happen, even if it didn't happen, he will say, this happened. You know, this is what happened. This is reality. So he will try to shape people's idea of what reality is constantly by repeating things over and over again, tweeting things over and over again, keeping his narrative going over and over again. The Bible says that in these last days, there will be a falling away and the man of sin will be revealed. A lot of people have said, you know, well, that means the man of sin will be revealed. It will only be when he goes into the temple at the abomination of desolation, and then everybody will know that he is the Antichrist. But the Bible does not say that. The Bible doesn't say that at that time. The Bible says he, there will be a falling away, and the man of sin will be revealed. So I believe he's being revealed day by day by day to people who are waking up and listening. But the thing about it is, there is this deception, this falling away, this deception where people are not understanding what is going on because they're saying, I don't believe this and I don't believe this. They've made up their mind that Trump is a good man. And so anything that goes against the narrative that Trump is a good leader and a, a King Cyrus and a, and a great uh, messianic figure in our day and time, a, a savior who's going to make the world better and make America great again. Anything that goes against that narrative, they say, well, that's got to be fake. That can't be true. That can't be real. In other words, they're already predisposed to say, Whatever goes with Trump is true. Whatever goes against Trump is false. That's where we're at in this world today. The Bible says about the Antichrist that he shall cause craft to prosper. Daniel 8, 25. He shall cause craft, and that's, that means craftiness. He shall cause craftiness to prosper. Other versions say he shall cause deceit to prosper. The original Hebrew word uh, is pronounced mirmah. It's M-I-R-M-A-H, mirmah. The original Hebrew, as spelled out in English, mirmah, means deceit or deception. We live in a time already where there is deception everywhere, but he has... The Antichrist figures out how to take what's already going on and, and use it to the 
superlative. I mean, he makes it into a, a craft. He makes it into a science. He does it better than anybody. As I've said before, a lot of people uh, really underestimate Donald Trump. But Donald Trump is working with the power of the devil. And he's the master of manipulation. He's the master of getting people to think things that are not true and turning the truth into a lie and the lie into a truth. He, he, he confuses everything because he, it, for him, it's just only about is this in line with my policy, my, what I want and what I, and what suits my end? Does this glorify me? If it does, then I'll, I'll make people believe it's true. If it goes against me, I'll make people believe it's a lie. That's his way of manipulating people. And I, I just want to share that, you know, I'm, I'm getting comments. I talk a lot about my comments, but I learn a lot. I don't put all these comments on my comment section because I get so many comments full of hate, full of foul language, full of of uh, confusion and deception and but I learn a lot about what people are thinking by reading these comments even though I uh, I'm not going to post them you know I I learn a lot about people's thinking on the internet and what they're believing and what they're thinking and I can tell you that there are so many people that you know no matter what Trump says no matter what Trump does they have some storyline for it. And, and many of you have, have commented to me that you've experienced the same thing. But they will say, well, you know, he was just joking. That, he, that was only a joke. Or they will say, well, that's just Trump being Trump. You know, in other words, that's just Trump being Trump. Just, you know, the, don't take it. Uh, don't take it literally. Take Trump seriously, but don't take him literally. That's the saying. Take Trump seriously. Don't take him literally. In other words, his words don't mean anything literally, but take him seriously. Uh, you know, as if that can be done, as if that makes any sense. But that's what they're saying. What, in other words, they're saying, take what we want you to believe about Trump, but whatever his words are, don't, don't take them seriously. Don't take them literally. That is confusion. That is deception. That is, in other words, if the Antichrist says, I am God, the Bible says that the Antichrist will go into the temple and show himself to be God, proclaim himself to be God. Well, what if today uh, Donald Trump went and made a speech and in that speech he said, oh, by the way, folks, I am God. Well, there are people that would say, oh, he's only joking. There are people who would say, oh, that's just Trump being Trump. Or they would say, take him seriously. Don't take him literally. Or they would say, well, that's just fake news. You know, that didn't really happen. He didn't really say that. Somehow, some way, everything to some people now is a hoax and they're being hoaxed. I'm getting, I get comments from people all the time say that this, that, or the other that happened is a hoax simply because there are crisis actors that take advantage of the situation. I've talked about that in a previous video or simply because uh, one lady sent me a comment. She said, well, those people at Sandy Hook, we know they were uh, paid off by the government because their mortgages were paid off. Well, I don't know if their mortgages were paid off, but if they were, there could have been a philanthropist. There could have been somebody that felt sorry for those people and paid off their mortgages. That doesn't prove because their mortgages were paid off. Even if you could know that, you don't know who paid those mortgages. <laughs> those mortgages could have been paid by somebody that just wanted to help out a family that was suffering because, you know, after the death of their loved one, maybe they weren't able to go back to work for a while and, and maybe they got behind on their bills. Maybe they were going to lose their home and maybe they just said, I'm going to pay off their mortgage. So you don't know that something's a hoax based on these so-called facts. You know, their mortgage was paid off. Therefore, Sandy Hook is a hoax. <laughs> there, there were crisis actors who, who took advantage of that situation. Therefore, Sandy Hook was a hoax. No, these things are not hoaxes just because 
there are things happening that that someone could say, oh, that proves that that's a hoax. No, that doesn't prove that that's a hoax. It only proves that you are correlating things that don't correlate. I'm getting comments all the time from people saying, oh, this is just psyops. The government's doing psyop, psychological operations to deceive the people and confuse the people. So then everything that happened is a psyop now. Or they say this is controlled opposition, you know, this protest movement or this thing that is happening. It's just it's just the government's behind it. The government's behind everything, whatever's happening. You know, it's controlled opposition or it's psyops. In other words, they're saying, you know, there's nothing real. It's like I'm saying it, it, people don't know what to believe. And these people on the Internet are saying that everything's a psyop. Everything is a controlled opposition. Everything is fake news. Everything is a hoax or everything's a conspiracy everything is uh, you don't know what to believe that's what is happening now the everything's being undermined and reality is being undermined in people's minds and we're living in a surreal world now a surreal new world where it's like what's real everything seems to be a hoax everything seems to be unreal everything's not true so in other words when the antichrist goes into the temple as the bible says showing himself to be god we used to think in studying the bible that it would just be black and white you know so clear but now we see the deception is so widespread that it's not going to be black and white you know like i say some people are going to say oh he He's uh, just joking. Don't take him serious. Others will say, oh, no, he, that's just Trump being Trump. But he's going to say, the Bible says he's going to mean it. You know, it's real. This is real. God's word is real. Judgment day is real. Hell is real. These things are real. The Antichrist is real. And his showing himself to be god in the temple is real the bible says so it's not going to be a hoax it's not going to be a joke it's not going to be make-believe it's going to be real at this annual dinner of the gridiron club this is what donald trump said he said uh, i won't rule out talks with north korea's leader as far as the risk of dealing with a madman that's his problem not mine it's his problem so in other words he's making a joke that he's a madman and everybody in the room laughs so will this same crowd laugh when he says he's god will they say oh he's just joking he you know all these dinners they're having now like the alfred e smith memorial dinner in new york city the the white house correspondence association dinner and this gridiron club annual dinner you know all these dinners they get up there and they say all these things and they're supposed to be taken as jokes but the reason why people laugh is because they know they're true the things they're saying are funny because there's so much truth in what they're saying so they're saying they're saying something really and you know as the bible says jesus said but i say to you that every idle word men speak they shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment. Jesus said that. You know, in other words, this so-called joking, this so-called, oh, that's Trump being Trump. He's saying something. He, every idle word is meaningful, Jesus says. He's saying something when he says he's a madman. He's saying something when he makes these comments. And, and that's why people laugh, because they know there's truth in it. And so, where are we at in this world today where when Trump is going to say, the Antichrist is going to say, I am God. He's going to show himself to be God in the temple. He's going to make himself out to be God in the temple. Where are we at in this world today? A surreal world where when people say something, People say, oh, he didn't really mean it, but he did mean it. And so this is the confusion. This is the deception. This is part of it. You know, I just made the video about the, the man, Christopher Steele, who did the dossier. Well, 
Everyone who stands with Trump just discounts that completely. He's a liar. The whole thing's a lie. Why? Do they know it's a lie? Do they know what's really going on in the Kremlin? Do they really know what's going on with Putin and Moscow? No. But they're saying it is false. Definitely. Why? Because it goes against Trump. So anything that goes against Trump is definitely a lie in their eyes. So you see, there's nothing that will convince them. Everything that goes against Trump to these Trump followers, to them, whatever it is, it's got to be a lie if it goes against Trump. It's got to be fake. It's got to be a hoax. Or it's got to be coming from the deep state, a psyop. Or, or controlled opposition, or it's got to be something fake and phony or a joke if it goes against Trump. They're convinced of this. So when he says he's God, he's joking, it's a hoax, or it's fake, or this is something other than reality for them. Nothing now. They're, they're coming to this place where nothing gets through to them anymore no matter what they're being shown no matter what they're being told they're convinced you know this has got to be fake because it goes against trump it goes against my man my narrative and i want to encourage you as a christian if you're a born again christian and i hope you are if you're not please come to christ today don't put it off Repent of your sins and put your faith in Jesus who died for you and who loves you and wants to save you. I urge and plead with you, uh, have nothing to do with all these phony alt-right websites or any of these websites that are saying that everything is a psyop and everything is a controlled opposition, don't believe anything. It's saying that everything's a hoax and everything's a conspiracy. Alex Jones type websites. Uh, World Net Daily type websites, uh, Drudge, Matt Drudge, and uh, Breitbart, these phony baloney websites that are all about Donald Trump. They love Donald Trump, and they're, they're selling you his narrative and convincing you that he is, you know, King Cyrus, the, the, great, the great one to come, who will eventually, I believe, show himself to be God in the temple. I urge you to have nothing to do with these websites that are confusing you, telling you everything is a hoax, everything's a psyop, everything's, everything they're telling you that, that don't believe anything that's anti-Trump. In other words, they're conditioning you so that when the Antichrist says, I am God, you will say, well, he, you know, that's just Trump being Trump. It's okay. Don't worry about it. That's what they're conditioning you. You are being acclimated to accept anything that he says and as if it's not important, as if his words don't take him literally. Take him seriously, but don't take him literally. You're being conditioned to accept whatever he says so that when he makes that proclamation, you'll say, look, it's no big deal. So what? And let me share this about that temple, about, about where the Bible says the Antichrist will go into the temple. There's a, there's a, I know there's the opinion out there that what the Bible is talking about is the, the temple of the Holy Spirit, the body. Yes, the Bible says that the, the, te, the body, the human body, the Christian, is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Now, the unbeliever, we know, does not house the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit does not live in the unbeliever. We know that. But the, the human body of the Christian believer is the temple of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit lives within us. And so, yes, the Bible says that. But don't be confused that the prophecy talking about the Antichrist going into the temple and showing himself to be God, showing himself to be God in the temple. If Donald Trump said today in a speech, as I said before, if he made that statement, you know, I am God, the people of Judea would not suddenly jump up 
and flee into the mountains. And yet Jesus said, when you see the abomination of desolation standing in the temple, he said, people of Judea, flee to the mountains. Now, the people of Judea are not going to flee to the mountains just because Donald Trump makes another outrageous statement in a speech. But Jesus said, when you see, in other words, this is going to be a historical event. You're going to see something happen. He said, when you see the abomination of desolation, in other words, when the Antichrist goes into the temple, proclaiming himself to be God, showing himself to be God. That is going to be a historical event. And Jesus says, when you see that, you're going to see this historical event happen. And Jesus says, when you see that happen, flee. Those in Judea, flee into the mountains, Jesus said. Now, they will then, because this will be a momentous historical event. The Antichrist in the temple in Jerusalem, proclaiming himself to be God, showing himself to be God, this will be a historical event that will shock people. The Antichrist, a man standing in the temple in Jerusalem, proclaiming himself to be God, showing himself to be God, and people will flee as Jesus commanded. There are people who will obey and flee to the mountains because of that abomination of desolation happening in the temple. Now people say, oh, but how could it be that it's a real physical temple? We know, number one, we see in current events that they're already planning to build this temple. So it's, a, it's historically evident that it's about to happen. They want to build this third temple. They've already got all the, the preparations made for it. And just as soon as possible, they're going to build it. So that's a historical fact. They're going to build this, this uh, third temple. It's in the planning. People say to me, but how can it be called the Holy Temple? Because only the the temple of the Holy Spirit is really the Holy Temple. And, and they say, how can you call this temple the Holy Temple when it's a temple of dead religion. It's where the, the Jewish people will have animal sacrifices. Born-again Christians are not called to have any part of, of these Old Testament ceremonial things. And so all that's been done away with. It's been abolished. That's true. The dead religion has been abolished. That's true. That's in the past. That's true. But that doesn't mean that the temple cannot still be called the Holy Temple, just like Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a picture of the new Jerusalem. And in the, in the book of Revelation, even though the city of Jerusalem is called Sodom and Egypt, where our Lord was crucified in, in chapter 11 of Revelation, in that very same chapter, Jerusalem is called the holy city. Why is it called the holy city if it's Sodom and Egypt where our Lord was crucified? Because it's a picture. It's a picture of the new Jerusalem. So it's still called a holy city simply because it is a picture. And in the same way, the temple, even though it's a place of dead religion, it's still called the holy place because it's a picture. It's a picture of heavenly things. In heaven, there won't be a temple. In heaven, the, the Lord, the Father, and the Lamb, the Bible says they will be the temple in heaven. And But the temple on earth is a physical picture. And so it's called the holy place. The, just as Jerusalem is called the holy city, even though it's only a picture of the heavenly new Jerusalem. And so that's why. And it's the only thing that works. It's the only thing that fits. It's the only thing that could, could uh, fit the Bible prophecies. You just can't make it work that the Antichrist is calling himself God in the temple of God as if he is the temple of God because the Antichrist is not the temple of God. He, he has a body that could have been the temple of God if he had been saved and if he had been born again and the Holy Spirit had come to live in him, then he would have been uh, the temple of God. But if he's lost and not filled with the Holy Spirit and sp filled with 
evil instead, filled with darkness, filled with the devil instead, then he's not the temple of God. So when he says that he's God, he's not saying it in the temple of God, his body, because his body is not the temple of God. He has to be saying it in a physical temple that is a real building that has been built in our day and time, fulfilling the prophecies that he will stand in the temple proclaiming himself to be God and people in Judea will see it, as Jesus said, when you see it, then flee to the mountains. And so it's a, it's a, a real event that's coming. It's a real physical temple that he's going to go into. So I just want to urge you, don't let yourself be entertained by all this nonsense that is on the internet. Don't go and listen to these people rant and rail about how everything now is psyops and controlled opposition and hoaxes and, and lies and deceptions and joking and, and not real because they're conditioning you to think that there's not really anything real anymore. And they'll tell you that Sandy Hook is a hoax and tell you that uh, what happened in Parkland, Florida, that's a hoax. And everything, every, all these things that happened, like the shooting in Las Vegas, that was a hoax. All they're telling you everything's a hoax so that you're, you're not, you're, you're not living in the real world anymore. They're, they're making you believe that everything is, is surreal. Everything's a fake. Everything's, everything's crazy. And so whatever happens, they can, they're convincing you, you know, this didn't really happen. Trump really didn't say that. Uh, that's, that was just joking. That was just a hoax. This is just psyops. This is just uh, coming from uh, a make-believe world. This is fake news. They're making, they're confusing you. And I just want to urge you to don't be entertained by that stuff. Get away from all that nonsense. There are real things happening in this world and the Antichrist really will go into the temple. He really will call himself God, show himself to be God in the temple. That's a real thing that's coming. There are real historical events happening today that are leading up to the fulfillment of these prophecies. And as I say, you know, hell is real. Uh, judgment day is real. Every idle word that people speak will be judged, and it's real. It's not a joke. It's not a hoax. It's not something to think lightly of. It's serious, and uh, the Word of God is serious. The Bible is serious, and the Lord is telling us we need to be serious. Be serious about the fact that we are living in a reality that is real, uh, heaven and hell are real and people are going to go to either heaven or hell. This is real. This is not fantasy. This is not a surreal uh, uh, virtual reality. This is real. And uh, I want to encourage you to live in the real world and don't be deceived by all these voices that are leading people astray and making them think that everything is, is unimportant or surreal or a joke or a hoax or or a fantasy world. That's not what it is at all. It's the real, this is a real world and it's very serious that we be serious. Take Trump seriously. Take him literally. What he says in his words, he means it. Those words are real. They will all be judged. Every idle word that is spoken will be judged. His words are real. And when he goes into the temple and says, I am God, it will be real.